Anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Peppa's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. It's very nice, Peppa. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No. <laughs> your glasses are on your head. So they are. Silly Daddy, you must have a proper guess. OK. Have you put Mummy's shoes in the box? Nope. And that's all your guesses used up. Peppa likes secrets. Mummy, no one knows what's in my box. Oh, what has George got? I made a box for George too, and he's filled it with secret things. And only George knows what's inside. Oh. Peppa would like to know what is inside George's box. It's George's toy dinosaur, of course. No. George's toy dinosaur is not in George's box. <laughs> it's too difficult. I'll never guess. Peppa does not like secrets as much as she used to. Maybe if you showed George one thing from your box, then he could show you one thing from his. OK, but we must do it at the same time. That's a good idea. On the count of three, you each show what's in your boxes. Ready? Yes. One, two, three! George has a drum. <laughs> and Pepper has a trumpet. <laughs> oh, lovely! Yes, it sounds very nice. Now you throw the ball to me and I have to catch it. George! Oh dear, George's hiccups are spoiling the game. George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good, now your hiccups have gone. Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you've done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> And now, close your eyes and turn around quickly, three times. Peppa's new cure hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups. I know. To cure hiccups, the ill piggy must be given a shot. George, I'm going to scare you, but you must remember, it's only a game and it'll stop your hiccups. Remember, this is just pretend scaring. Peppa, you mustn't play so roughly with George. He's only little. Sorry, Bobby. I was just trying to stop George's hiccups. George's hiccups have gone. Picnic blanket, bread, cheese, tomatoes and lemonade. Is there anything we've forgotten? Mummy's strawberry cake. <laughs> I was just teasing. Mummy's homemade strawberry cake is there too. Is everybody ready? Ready! Then let's go! <laughs> <laughs> this looks like just the spot for our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, oh, it's great to be outdoors. We should run around a bit and get some exercise. I want to eat, then have a nap. I certainly don't want to run around. Maybe Daddy should run around a bit. His tummy is quite big. My tummy is not big. But later I will get some exercise, even if no one else does. <laughs> Let's eat. Good idea, Mummy Pig. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I feel quite sleepy. I thought you wanted to run around a bit, Daddy Pig. Later. Look, there's a little duck pond. <laughs> Mummy, can we feed the ducks? Yes, you can feed them the rest of the bread. <laughs> Pepper and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, I think they want some more. That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We've no more bread. <laughs> Wow! Ooh. What a beautiful butterfly. Grandpa, why do butterflies like flowers? They get their food from flowers. How? They have very long tongues. Look at them, mine. <laughs> oh, yes. The butterfly's tongue is even longer than yours. She uses it to drink from the flower. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh Pepper, the butterfly thinks you're a flower. <laughs> I'm not a flower. I'm Pepper Pig. <laughs> <laughs> she is so pretty. I want to be a butterfly. <laughs> Pepper is playing at being a butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> George, I'm the butterfly. You have to be something else. I know. You can be a wriggly worm. <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. Oh dear. George does not want to be a worm. He wants to be a butterfly. George, when I was a little piggy, I used to like playing at being a worm. It's very easy to be a worm. I'll show you how. First, you have to lie down on the ground. Then, you wriggle around. Ha <laughs> ha I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. It is bath time. Peppa wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. Peppa is in her pyjamas. She still has her new shoes on. Peppa even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Peppa, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Bobby. Very well. Good night, Peppa and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Bobby. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. It has been raining all night, and now the garden is very wet. Mummy Pig is wearing her boots. Daddy Pig is wearing his boots. George is wearing his boots. Pepper is still wearing her new red shoes. <laughs> George is going to play in the wet grass. <laughs> oh dear. Pepper loves playing in the wet grass, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes wet. I can't play in the wet grass, George. Oh. <laughs> George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping in puddles, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes muddy. Aww. 
Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone likes jumping in muddy puddles. Where is Pepper going? <laughs> Pepper is putting on her boots. You must wear your boots. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper, and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Pepper and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Mummy, would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three, open your eyes! Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday, yeah. Mummy yeah. Pig! <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh. You're beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre, tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. What a super birthday. I'm the luckiest mummy in the whole world. And the most beautiful. <laughs> what does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Oops. Silly me. Aha! This must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> Silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops, not that one. This button. Ah! Ah! Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one! one. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car... Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What can we do for you today? We've got petrol, air for tyres, and a new automatic car wash. 
Uh, two ice lollies, please. Oh, certainly. Grandad Dog's garage sells lots of things, even ice lollies. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. 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 I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, the car has stopped. It's no good. It won't start. I know. I'll ring Grandad Dog. Grandad Dog speaking. Help! Our car has broken down. Danny, we've got some rescuing to do. Yippee! To the rescue! To the rescue! Look! There's Danny and Grandad Dog! Hooray! Grandad Dog knows everything about cars. Hmm. Is it serious? No. You've just run out of petrol. What can we do? There's plenty of petrol at my garage. I'll tow you there. Grandad Dog is towing Pepper's car back to his garage. Grandad Dog is filling Pepper's car with petrol. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Here are Susie Sheep and her mummy in their car. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Susie. We ran out of petrol. Grandad Dog rescued us. Wow, that's exciting. See you later. See you later. I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, who gave away Daddy's chair? Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Peppa, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will miss my jack-in-a-box. Can I buy this jack-in-a-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy. That's because... Shh, Peppa. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you look like two cheeky snails. <laughs> and I'm going to eat her all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi! Keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. <laughs> and when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> all of Peppa's friends are here. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Pepper and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. <laughs> Surprise! 
<laughs> we were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. A carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Peppa. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Ooh. Look, here's one now. What's she doing? She's collecting nectar from the flower, and then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. George, you could wear my pirate hat. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. If we're lucky, we might find buried treasure. Wow! Pirate Island sounds like a great place. Land ahoy! <laughs> Here we are. Pirate Island. Hooray! What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Grandpa Pig is using the metal detector to find buried treasure. Aha! The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Hooray! Let's find some more. Aha! We found something else. It sounds big. <laughs> My goodness! This piece of treasure is quite heavy! Oh dear. That is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. I'll just check on the boot. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. Oh, and a teddy and a dinosaur. That makes six. All aboard! <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy Pig. Hop aboard. <laughs> Quick, Daddy! Splice the main brace, chocks away, full steam ahead. Very impressive, Miss Rabbit. You must be an expert pilot. Not really. This is the first time I've ever flown a balloon. Oh. Hold tight! Miss Rabbit heats up the air in the balloon to make it rise into the sky. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Would anyone like to do the map reading? I will. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? <laughs> I'm very good at map reading. Oh, this map is a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher. The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh, where did the sky go? Don't worry, Peppa. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh. The sky is back again. Hooray! <laughs> big balloon, big balloon. Bigger than the sun and moon. Flying high in the sky. Fly and fly and fly and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Teddy. We're flying really high. Peppa, be careful you don't drop. Teddy! I've dropped Teddy! <gasps> Don't worry, Pepper. We'll rescue Teddy. Hold tight, everybody. We're going down. Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. I can't see Teddy anywhere. There he is. 
Teddy's caught in a tree. I can use this anchor to rescue Teddy. Slowly. Slowly. There. Daddy Pig has rescued Teddy. Teddy! Hooray! Hooray! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> this is my new friend, Leo Lion. Where is he? There's no one there. Susie has made up a pretend friend. Can't you see him, Peppa? Um... <laughs> Let's play catch. OK. To you, Leo. Peppa throws the ball to Susie's pretend friend. Leo can't catch the ball. He can. He just doesn't like playing catch. What does Leo like doing? He likes to roar. Is he going to roar now? Um... Yes! <coughs> Rawr! Wasn't that you? No, that was Leo. Ah! Hello, Leo. Peppa pretends that she can see Leo Lion. Leo, will you be my friend too? What did he say? He's nodding his head. That means yes. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, would you like to come inside and have some fruitcake? <laughs> Mummy Pig has two slices of fruitcake for Susie and Pepper. Mummy, Susie's got a pretend friend. He's called Leo Lion. I see. And does he like fruitcake too? Rah! Leo loves fruitcake. Don't be silly, Pepper. That wasn't Leo. That was you. <laughs> Leo prefers chocolate cake. I haven't got chocolate cake. Will Leo have some fruitcake? He will try a little slice. Mummy Pig gives some cake to Susie's pretend friend. George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur. George, you're sitting on Leo. George does not know that Susie has a pretend friend. George, look at all the tiny bubbles. <laughs> I can make bigger bubbles. <gasps> Peppa is blowing bubbles in her drink. <laughs> Bubble! George wants to blow bubbles too. <gasps> Peppa, George, you really shouldn't play with your food. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa? If you like bubbles, why don't you play with your bubble mixture? Yes, my bubble mixture. George, let's blow bubbles in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa is showing George how to blow bubbles. First, dip the stick in the mixture. Then, take a big breath and blow. <gasps> <laughs> Bubble! <laughs> George, now it's your turn. Dip the stick in the mixture. Hold it up. Take a big breath. And blow! George is trying really hard, but he is running out of breath. Achoo! <laughs> George, you didn't blow hard enough. I know a way George can make bubbles. Dip the stick in the mixture, then lift it up and wave it around. <laughs> Bubble! <laughs> it's even better if you run along. <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> George is having fun making bubbles. And Pepper is having fun popping them. I love bubbles!